So welcome to a nice tutorial for TBC and it's about exporting data for visualization in Trimble side vision. We will learn here also about georeferencing an image and getting data to Google Earth and also of course getting the data to side vision. You can find the tutorial here on this page can download it and then when you, exp uh, when you extract it, then you have a PDF guiding you step by step for all the steps that we need to do to get through this project. So I will just show this here by a video. Sometimes it's easier just to follow a video and to see what happens. So we will just um, open the VCE file in Trimble Business Center. So here we go. And then we just say file open and then we select the VCE file and then we will just go through the different steps of the tutorial and see how to get things done. So first thing we will do is in this case here um, import our PDF file and we will do this here for the TPC ribbon home data exchange. We will navigate then to the data folder in my case, it's already here. We will change the DPI to 600. So in my case, this is already set up correctly. But these are the steps that you would need to do, setting the DPI to 600 and then hitting the import button. After the import is done, we will not use the place image part, so we will close this part here and we will use the georeference image part. So in this case here, when we close the place image, the PDF is not shown anymore, but we will then here continue with the georeferencing part. Oh yeah, and we switch off the surface because we don't want to see a surface here for this first part. So here we go, we close this part, we go here to the surface, we switch off here the surface part, and then we will go to the georeferencing part, so in the cut images uh, georeference image. So here cut images georeference. In the end what happens we will now add here different points select in the PDF the location and then say for the georeferencing which point this is representing. So we hit here add then we click in this uh, PDF this location and then with the next click we drag this line to this control point and, and the first part it's northwest corner then the second one it's northeast corner and then it's south east corner. So in this case here, adding, then navigating here to this corner, measuring here this corner here, then um, going to the control point, which is in our case this here, northwest, this is our first one, then we add the second one, the second one is here in the lower right corner. 
and it represents, in our case, the northeast control point. And then we add the third one, which is down here, this lower left corner. And this one represents the southeast corner. So we measured these three pairs, and it should look like this. And then we hit compute. And this is our georeferencing. And we see now it's turned. We see now these points are, in this case, representing these corners. That's fine. We can close the georeferencing. And then we will trim part. We will here draw a polyline and so we don't see the legend anymore. And then we will trim it just to see the inner part of the boundary. So let's do this, let's close this part here. Then we will here measure our in cut lines polyline. So cut lines polyline. And then we drag measure here around this part, our polyline. And here we go. And I right click and say close. Now we have the polyline and then we can now start, I think it's called capture image. Let's see. No, it's add and remove image boundary. Yeah, so we will do this now next. This is add and remove image boundary. We will select which image we want to cut. Then we say clipping boundary. We select this polygon. And I think I have to hit add. Yeah, so we said add. And then we will see now it will clip the remaining part. And now we only see this content. Good, we can close this one. Then we create a plot box. Let's close this one here. I think we have to type in plot. Yeah, create plot box. And then we will change the scale. I think you should know the scale of your plan. This is helpful. It's a good question. I'm not sure if this is the perhaps a part that will perhaps make it difficult. And then we will hear oh yeah, width and height. That's correct. We close here the plot box width. We click here inside and then we measure a little bit outside from left to a little bit outside of right. And then we say plot height and again a little bit above and a little bit below. These are our dimensions. And then for the location uh, to rotate this part, so a uh, lower left corner here. So I enter here a little bit again outside of it here. And then the rotation, I measure here a point pointing here in this direction. Yeah. So this is in our um, rotation that we then for the plotting define. And I think that's it. Plot height, location, rotation. Um, I think we don't need to hit the add button, which is interesting. We can just close to create plot box. Yeah. I think I would have hit add, but okay. And then we can save now this going through cut images, capture image. And this will then be the next part. Cut. And then we select the uh, capture image, which is now this button here. Yeah. Takes a little bit time till the command box opens up. But it will come up. Uh, typically, it's here set to 96. Depending on what resolution you want, you can change this. And here in the drop down box, we can now. Select this last edit plot box. I think if you hit add, then perhaps you can give a name. But okay, that's how it is. Uh, we leave the settings, it will be just exported into our 
I think screenshots folder we have to see but into our project folder so uh, here are a few hints depending what size you generate for plotting now uh, if you go very large with a0 okay then this could be a problem and that's it i think we can just hit apply and we will see here now this entry coming here into the uh, plot box here we go and let's see Oh yeah, um, you need to change before you hit apply the save type uh, because by default this is set to JPEG. Uh, so I already did this one time, this tutorial, but please don't forget, you just hit these three dots and change to type PNG. Yeah. It's important because we need also the georeferencing file for the PNG, which is the PWA or something like that file, just to be sure. And that's it. Um, yeah, they are stored in the snapshots. And the PGW file is the georeferencing coordinate system. Good. And that's nice. Cool. Didn't know that. It will automatically also generate a KML file. And so let's navigate here to this um, snapshots folder and you see there's the KML file. And if you double click this one and you have Google Earth installed on your computer, I have it, then it will start a Google Earth and directly navigate you to uh, this position. And you see now georeferenced your PDF at the right place and also what I like also, it's um, using the terrain height, I think, also correctly. I'm not totally sure about this, but it fits nicely on the ground. Yeah? So this is really cool. Um, here, pasted on top of it. So, like it. Um, so this is something I'm really sure this could be interesting for, also for us. So the next part is interesting working with side vision. How can I get um, data from TBC to side vision? And in our case, we will here export a surface uh, model. And this is done just by exporting from TBC into exchange format TTM. So we will here go into home, export, selecting the construction here. Under construction is here a TTM exporter. Uh, in this TTM exporter, we will now here um, not close automatically. Naming is important, so the TTM file and the job file uh, need to have the same name so that they can be in relation to each other. Uh, so um, with the same name as the project. Yeah, very important for us here. And Uncheck the blah, blah, blah. So I think we didn't change anything here. Just hit TTM export. That's it. Yeah. So just everything already done. Just here removing this, hitting export. So this is then the TTM file for side vision, which is a surface then, as I understood. And then we will also export a job XML file. Um, and there we will export here the ground control points and that stuff. And um, this is done by using the survey and here the Tremble field software exporter. We will then here in the option select all. So it will also select our free control points and also the, uh, this boundary stuff. And then we here will close the command after it's exported. And I think that's it. We don't change much. Yeah, that's it. Hit export again. And then this is exported. 
And then you need a connect tremble.com account and it's for free. You can uh, generate yourself one. Uh, I will perhaps just log out of mine and uh, here, here just sign out. So then go to the page https connect tremble.com and then register. If you don't have an account, you can then uh, create yourself one, uh, navigate to your region and hit new. I will call it here side vision tutorial tut. So, and then I say submit. And then you can just uh, drag and drop from your your exporting data side vision the TTM and GXL into it, and then you can also upload uh, from the snapshots the PGW and the PNG, and that's it. That's all you need to do. So we. You would connect, you would navigate to your region, click a new button, I click the new project, um, just enter the field name, you wouldn't make any other changes, uh, drag and drop that stuff into it, so in this case here the JXL and the TTM, um, import then from the snapshots the PGW and the PNG, and then when you uh, go with your site vision out, then you can access the connect database and then you would see overlaying here this uh, data in your side vision hardware. And so I think this is finishing the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and liked it and um, have a nice day. Goodbye.